Hi everybody, it's Hannah from the Doodlebug in Jasper, Indiana. And today I wanted to do a quick little video to show you um, a really fun little shaker card using a new stamp set that we just got in from um, Photoplay. So this is part of their Say It With Stamps line they just came out with. This is their second release in the line. This one um, having more holiday things. So some fall stamps, Halloween stamps, and then also Christmas stamps as well. This one here features a super cute, super spooky um, little Frankenstein face. And they're kind of doing a different card size. It is a... Um, a three and a half by six and a quarter, I believe. And that's what this one here is going to fit on. So I want to show you the card. We're going to do a little shaker card. And I also want to show you a new little tool that we got in to help with your stamping. So what I've got here, I have got my Misty set up. I've got a piece of paper already loaded in there. I already put that stamp kind of eyeballing to make sure it's gonna stamp clear by magnet and everything. And I'm gonna stamp that down. Now, as you can see, this is a pretty big solid piece here that I'm trying to stamp. So I'm going to move some of my stuff to the side here. All right, so I've got my Misty here. I'm gonna go ahead and ink my Misty up. Tapping, tapping, tapping. I'm using the Gina K Obsidium Amalgam Ink. I really like Gina K's ink. And then I also like Catherine Pooler's ink as well, too. Um, Catherine Pooler's was just at home in my personal stash. So, all right. Now I'm going to stamp this little guy here. But as you know, if you've used a Misty before, you put this down, you've got to, you know, bring your hand all the way around. Usually I've got to use a long sleeve shirt, kind of put my shirt in there to cancel out any friction, but I'm going to use this kind of press helper. I don't know what to call it. So Gina K started using one a while back and I think they're calling it a Chucky. Um, I, I think that's right. But one of my customer's husbands is gonna be actually making these for me. So that is super fun. And it just, look, I mean, I can go over it so much easier now. You know, I'm not killing my hand. And then, da, 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 look at that. Great coverage the very first time. Now, I like mine really dark. So I'm actually going to stamp it again. That is what is so great about a Misty if you don't have a Misty currently because I'm not moving my paper over here at all. So then that way I can just put it down and it's gonna be in exactly the same spot where it was. All right, now that we have got our Frankenstein nice and stamped. He's looking amazing. Then what you're going to do is you want to take your scissors. I usually like to start by just kind of poking a little hole in here, make a bigger circle, and then fussy cut around everything because we want to turn this into a shaker card. Um, the last thing that we're going to do though is uh, we're going to stamp the inside here of the card. So I'm going to just line up. This is my finished card and I'm just going to kind of line him up here with the original stamp. Kind of center him for a little bit. I made the green a little bit bigger so that way I could trim it down. All right, so that looks about right. Okay, put my magnet in there really good. And then I want to center up the verbiage to go right into the center of his mouth. Okay, I'm going to come down just a little bit. That looks great. All right, I'm going to take this big stamp out. I know it's kind of off screen there. Peel this out. Close my Misty to pick that back up. Set my stamp to the side. Now, as you can see, this is a brand new stamp. So I'm probably, a lot of times what I like to do, but I, I don't have a pencil right here, is I like to go over this with um, just a white eraser. That kind of helps to give it 
a little bit of oomph, gives the ink something to stick to. A lot of times when a stamp is nice and new, it's really slick and your ink is gonna want to bead up on that. Always remember that a dirty stamp or an older stamp is a better stamping stamp. So the more you use it, the better it's gonna get. And then again, because I like it nice and dark, I wouldn't even have to stamp it again, but I'm going to. Okay, beautiful, look at that. All right, so now I'm gonna take my Misty, completely set it all to the side. And I went ahead and already have a card set up. So basically once I fussy cutted it, I trimmed down a little closer here, flipped it over. I've got a piece of acetate in there that I just glued down with some tape runner. And then I did nice solid strips of my foam tape. You don't want any holes, otherwise, um, hello, your shakers will shake right out. So I'm gonna take these off now. Another thing that you can do too is take your um, take your little powder tool before you take all this sticky off and just rub it around the edges. I forgot to grab mine before I did the video and I meant to do that, but I totally forgot. So you wanna do that because then that way it gets rid of some of the stickiness on the sides and keeps your shakers from sticking to it. I'm just gonna put this right on top there. Give it a good, I could probably even, yeah, look at that. Use that little guy right there. And voila, how fun is that? Oh, I get a little crazy with my shakers, so I've probably got a few too many in there um, because I love the shakers. But this is a super cute, super fun card made by me, Hannah, at The Doodle Bug in Jasper, Indiana. You can look us up online at www.thedoodlebuginc.com. And these are ready to go for you in the online store. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day.